My deck has no pathetic cards. Exodia. Obliterate. <laughs> Damn, bro. Not like this. <laughs> what's up welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video so for today uh, we have another free-to-play deck and it's very good actually um, as I probably say in the, the thumbnail or <laughs> the captions or whatever the title of the video we went 16 in one so I won first 10 win streaks and then I lost a duel and then I won another six so you know it's an amazing cog cogable deck so this is the first deck list i will show you a bit uh, <laughs> as you can see uh, there is tons of hand traps um so i'm going to show you <laughs> and the lava golem of course <laughs> for the memes um but yeah i'm going to show you a more um you know a less toxic version but yeah i got the win streak with this build so here is my other deck list with the fence charge it's very good as well it's more compact you know it's less stally you have only double chitroid no spheres no veils so yeah the, the goal of this deck is to set up with the flutist um or something yeah flutist is amazing for non-targeting to set up your monsters and just um power through as fast as possible no need for stalling you know if you wanted to play, if you if you have free to play, you can remove one vegan, 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 <laughs> and put in like another Giga gloves, or maybe if you have one more soul piercer, or maybe one more more soul peacemaker, you know whatever. Maybe if you want to have a veil or something, but yeah, I have double vegan, so I'm gonna play double. Oh, and I forgot to mention the the. the extra deck you want to have double stealth ninja double ogre and triple musashi and yeah that's the deck list very simple um not very hard to play uh, very fun also i f i if i didn't mention it's extremely fun so yeah i really do recommend it it's free to play it's fun it's very coggable I would say it's a timeless deck as it probably won't get nerfed <laughs> um and also uh, do uh, take into consideration that this deck might get support with the new Arc 5 world. Um, as I've heard, uh, Super Heavy Samurai is an Arc 5 deck, so you know, we have more support coming up, maybe, potentially. But do also take into consideration to maybe not go in right now to buy the deck if you don't have it as maybe there will be a structure uh, structure deck and then you're you know wasting your gems right now if you if you can get and also reprints in the box um if they get if they get reprinted you know you're wasting your gems right now so uh, my recommendation is not to go in right now into the uh, to get them but um if if you have them you can play them you know and you probably ha have them maybe i don't maybe not probably but maybe and finally, to just show how good, um, how good guys are, and what is the optimal build. So this would be the optimal build. As you see, seven, seventeen uh, k, is the value of the deck. Um, so yeah, you do want to have for your optimal build probably triple vegan without um, some other stuff. Um, so as you can see, second place in met um, in meta freakly which was like two months ago so you know it it's not that old and it seems amazing homeless sam is uh, <laughs> is uh, really the father of super heavy samurais he is the one who introduces them to the meta and who played ton tons of duels with them so he knows what is the best build and he thinks this is the best build for super heavy samurais now again you can play free to play but if you really really like the deck this would be the you know the most optimized version probably to go with and yeah those are the deck lists uh, now let's jump straight into dual replays mm, also do follow if you're interested if you 
I don't if you're like I don't trust you with the wind streak that sounds a bit suspicious you know <laughs> just follow the wind streaks I, I don't know it should be it should be like on one duel it should be nine wind streaks and then we lost a duel and then there should be five wind streaks on another duel or uh, six actually and i did save the duel we lost because yeah as i said that was a <laughs> that was something else uh so here so here we decide to go for the giga gloves as we do we do know he has an untargetable destruction and we have to play around it a bit here uh what is our play we want to go for the ogre because ogre ogre can destroy all all spell and trap cards so when when he goes for <laughs> for the whole field of spells and traps um that is the play to go into the ogre which we do not decide to do <laughs> okay we're playing a bit slower it seems he books whatever we're playing a bit more stall but uh, yeah the good thing is that this deck can extremely well stall so that's why it's it's very good for the ladder i'm not gonna lie maybe you don't like stall um i'm not the biggest fan of stall but uh, so yeah I, I do also recommend the other version of the deck list i showed you um but yeah um stalling with this deck is extremely good uh, powerful on the ladder as you can wipe the whole back row plus you can go around the monsters you can attack directly and stuff so um yeah if you don't care about fun <laughs> Uh, so here we go for the ogre we also get a search um, now we destroy and soul horns can attack twice um, and we have lethal so yeah i don't know we were playing against tons of zanes <laughs> like <laughs> crazy how much cyber dragons are still alive um, even after they got nerfed, nerfed like a thousand times. So here again, for how many duels in a row we just set Giga Gloves and pass. So here we decided. <laughs> so after four win streaks, we learned how to <laughs> how to play with the Vagan. Vagan is a very good. Vagan, whatever. I don't know how to pronounce. We go for the ogre, and uh, that's a GG. We just soul horns and that's lethal so yeah the good thing is that most players don't do not know how to read do not know how the effects of um super heavies um activate and stuff so what are their effects and so you have a big advantage on the ladder really also i forgot to mention if you're new to the channel consider subscribing so you know you don't miss other videos when i'll be posting out in the future and uh, you are helping the channel grow we are slowly growing so you know um i can make more videos like this okay s s seven win streak do uh, watch it <laughs> <laughs> Giga Gloves pass every duel. Just just Giga, Glo Giga Gloves pass and that's it, bro. You just win. <laughs> oh, damn, bro. <laughs> okay, let's clap some Chronomaly. Let's see. He goes for the Atlantis. Attacks. Okay, Giga Gloves. With Giga Gloves, we can uh, change the order on the deck so we can literally draw whatever we want. <laughs> This is a <laughs> Giga Gloves is a free Destiny draw, really. So yeah, that's why um, Destiny draw is not the potentially the best skill, as um, you can literally choose your combo pieces on top of the deck, so it's not needed, you know. And Defense Charge is a very good card. So he books <laughs> and finish chains, which was a bit, you know, whatever you say, my dude. <laughs> Mm. So yeah, here we, we are straight up chilling. Uh, he gives us a free destiny drum, which was thanks. <laughs> now we get lava golem for the memes. <laughs> um, I think if we didn't, um, never mind. <laughs> I'm tripping. So here we go. Uh, 
we have to attack the lava golem as he can take out our stealth ninja next turn but look how much advantage we got we got through his finish chain through double atlantis monsters and destroyed his lava golem so now he has to even if if he top decks is there anything he can do really i don't know not really i don't know probably maybe but probably not let's see so he goes for the thunder spark dragon which we allow um i don't know if we could have not allowed but yeah we allow we like that because stealth ninja just gets back on the field during the next standby phase after it was destroyed by a card effect which is amazing plus we do have giga gloves to negate his attack uh, get the vegan and that's a gg we get soul horns which can attack two times and yeah easy game easy control over the game so yeah i would say that the the good thing about the deck is that it gets tons of advantage within time you know because you can wipe the whole the whole back row you can um get around your opponent's monsters so stalling a bit um is extremely good win streak 8 alert by the way <laughs> uh so but yeah you can even um you can even remove the stall a bit maybe you don't like lava golem or something um whatever play around um find the best best build you want really for yourself mm. i even like the version um i showed you my other deck list without that many hand traps because um we in most duels we we didn't need to stall that much for that long you know here we do have veil and unfortunately we didn't draw into our combo pieces as we do have you know more uh, we don't have a 20 card build so it's a bit harder to get your cards but here he does <laughs> giga gloves which is basically a destiny draw we can set up our to draw whatever we need so here he goes gives us the destiny draw we just wail we already had everything so we didn't need to destiny draw we can go for the stealth ninja we should have went for the flutist so he can't target the stealth ninja but we do have protection with giga gloves in the graveyard um but yeah even even that won't be probably needed i would say or maybe it will no he doesn't have he's not playing optimal resonators so yeah he gets us a search and we can just beat over we can now get another monster uh, also soul piercer as the, as it says pierces through uh, his defense and look how much advantage he's, he's literally done it was done even tth but we can flutist and negate and even if he did resolve that we had game basically he he had he didn't have any follow-up let's see kaiba it's time to duel okay so this is our 10th win streak and this is a, of course the proof of the win streak of the first win streak let's see maiden okay <laughs> this is an easy giga gloves we have to be careful of the karma cut um so okay so he does have providence which does not do <laughs> anything really um we do have soul piece maker plus the soul piercer soul piercer can search for the tuner um or we can special summon whatever we have a search plus a special summon so that's amazing so we do have we do can we can go for another giga gloves to to be more protective but even without that i doubt that he can do anything we have the stealth ninja we can attack directly and the next turn should be probably ggs maybe 
I don't know, let's see. So he decides to go for the Vermilion Dragon Mech, which does nothing, as we can special summon him back, and he doesn't have many life points, we can finish him off next turn. Okay, so he does have back row, but let's see if it's anything. Wagon is very good to top deck, and yeah, that's a GG. So yeah, I was I was very surprised to see how good this deck is. Um, I'm like, I it didn't even cross the, my mind like, oh yeah, wait, I do have super heavy samurais. What? <laughs> they exist. <laughs> okay, so this of uh, the sixth six win streak um, of six win streak with um, with the of the other six win streak uh, so here uh, evil eyes can be a pr bit problematic as they can banish the chitroid they can banish um, the giga gloves they can banish the flutist but they do have uh, monsters which cannot go over my stealth ninja so it is very good but let's see he does double back row and I think he does have um, the downs here okay we special summon was that a, the best idea I'm not sure let's see we special summon the trumpeteer we get a search with a soul piercer um, we can now go for, fortunately enough for him, he does know that we can go for the ogre and wipe his whole back row. Um, we are trying to be a bit sneaky, so most players don't, don't know how they work, and once they're on the field, it's over if they don't have a fiendish or a chalice. We do have Kytroid for uh, to survive, but yeah, we give him this, okay, this attack, we can search. We decide to go for another, and now we can ogre wipe his whole back row. His banish doesn't do anything. We have GG. Okay, so this is the duel, I think. Let's see, win six. You know already. <laughs> <laughs> This was the most epic duel I've seen. I, I, my mind was blown. Okay, into the void. Treasure pa panda. <laughs> Wonderland. Wand. So I'm thinking he has the Exodia piece in graveyard. He can't do anything, right? Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> Another. And he has Dark Factory of Mass Destruction. My deck has no pathetic cards. Exodia! Obliterate! <laughs> Damn, bro! Not like this! <laughs> imagine losing your win streak, like. <laughs> imagine losing your win streak to Exodia first turn OTK. <laughs> like, damn, bro. <laughs> Damn, bro. <laughs> Damn, man. So yeah, this is the this is a nice way to end the video. <laughs> that was very fun, not going to lie. Um, but yeah, anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Um let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, every comment is appreciated as it helps the algorithm. Um, so I can get more recommended to other people so I can you know grow the channel more so yeah but anyways um, hope you enjoyed the video like I said see you in the next one bye